As we celebrate this bond of unity today under the eyes of God, it is important that we keep in mind that, while this is certainly an occasion of tremendous joy, the promises we witness here today are serious, life-altering commitments. They've heard it before. It's with these feelings of elation and expressions of respect that we proceed. At this time before the bonding ceremony, I invite our couple to share their vows. Courtney, if you'll repeat after me. Today. Today. I take you. I take you. As my husband. As my husband. I love you now. I love you now. As I've always loved you. As I've always loved you. And as I will always love you. And as I will always love you. Cooper. Today. Today. I take you. I take you. As my wife. As my wife. I love you now. I love you now. As I've always loved you. I've always loved you. And as I will, I will always love you. And I will, as I will always love you. Courtney, do you take Cooper as your cherished husband in front of all these witnesses and promise to stay by his side through sickness and health, joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live? I do. Cooper, do you take Courtney as your cherished wife in front of all these witnesses and promise to stay by her side through sickness and health, joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live? I do. Courtney and Cooper will now take part in a tree planting ceremony to symbolize the roots of their relationship and the continued growth of their love as they become each other's family today. Love is the essence of human experience and emotion. It is the root of all we do. Love enriches our experience and fills our lives with meaning. It gives us a firm base from which to grow, to learn, and to change. Let your relationship and love be like this tree you plant today. Let it grow tall and strong. Let it stand tall during harsh winds and rains and storms and come through unscathed. Like a tree, your marriage must be resilient. It must weather the daily challenges of life and the passage of time. Wedding rings perfectly symbolize the never-ending love you two have for each other. By exchanging the rings, you solidify a lifetime, lifetime commitment to one another. These rings serve as a welcome and a constant reminder of the bond you formed with your partner. Please repeat after me. I, Courtney. I, Courtney. Give you Cooper. Give you Cooper. This ring. This ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my enduring love. Of my enduring love. Just as the circle just as a circle of the ring of the ring completes itself completes itself so you complete me so you complete me i cooper i cooper give you courtney give you courtney this ring this ring as a symbol as a symbol of my enduring love of my enduring love just as the circle just as a circle of the ring of the ring completes itself completes itself so you complete me so you complete Courtney and Cooper, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Ohio, I am pleased to pronounce you wife and husband, sealed today both in law and love under the eyes of God. Cooper, kiss your bride. <laughs>
Um, Courtney asked me if I was going to embarrass her when I made this toast. And I said, well, isn't that a parent's prerogative to do that? And then I told her, no, I wouldn't. But the only thing I wanted to really say that was embarrassing was when she was younger, when I would drop her off at school and I would holler out the window, make good choices. And, you know, she thought I was embarrassing her. And I just want to say that she has made good choices and I do believe that she's made a good choice with Cooper. Also, I want to thank Tom and Jill for opening their arms to my daughter and to our family. Um, it, it's a very, very good union and we very much appreciate your kindness. And I wish Courtney and Cooper many, 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 many happy years together. We lift a glass to Courtney and Cooper Charlton. Many happy, wonderful years together. I love you. Whenever people ask, you know, who's your role model and who's your idol, I honestly think of Coop. Even though we're the same age, like, he's been a person I can look up to, and it really means a lot. Um, the past year's been a little tough for me, and through all that, Coop and Court were there by my side. Um, and we had a, I wouldn't say Coop and I had a falling out, but, you know, we go on our different paths, and, but through thick and thin, Coop's been there, and Court looks awesome tonight. It's beautiful, great venue, and just want to say congrats. Hello, everyone. So at the bachelorette party, the girls wanted to know more about each other and ask how everyone met Courtney. So when I got to my turn, I replied, well, I met Courtney on December 17th, 1992. And even though I don't remember this, I apparently had my arms stretched out across the nursery because I thought people could pick which baby they got to take home, and I did not want them to take my sister. So from even before I can remember, I have been a little overprotective. And even through that, we've made wonderful memories, shed tears, shared laughs, had disagreements, but have always had each other's backs. I've always wanted the best for you, and I can't help but feel the constant need to look out for you. Even though you are now a married woman to a fantastic husband, all I wish for is your happiness that I know you deserve. Squeak, I hope you honestly know that you mean the world to me. I know I will always be there for you through anything and everything. I love you so much, and congratulations on your big day.
Thank you.